Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Hello and welcome back to Business Today. Viewers, today we will be talking about an issue around business and personal debt. It is something which I believe can make and break a business. Viewers, did you know the UK national debt grows at a rate of £5,170 per second? And that means £27,126 debt per citizen which also means £46,657 debt per taxpayer. There's some more stats. £11 million of loans are written off daily by UK banks and building societies. Every 18 minutes, 15 seconds, a property is repossessed. Every 5 minutes, 3 seconds, someone is declared insolvent or bankrupt. Well, viewers, there are some other shocking stats. However, today on our show, we have with us three guests who will be sharing some of their experience and thoughts with this matter. We have our legal advisor, Mr. Shamuddin, who will advise us on the legal side on this subject. So without further ado, I will introduce you to our guests. We have Mr. Hosru Khan to my right here, Hosru Mia, sorry. And we have Mr. Sobur Khan to my far right. Mm -hmm. And um, as you may know, um, Mr. Shamuddin, our advocate and solicitor. Welcome on the show, gentlemen. Welcome. Okay. I will start off my first question with uh, Mr. Hosru Mia. And um, I'd like to ask you the first question, what is debt? Debt is obviously something people build up over time, spending on credit cards, or i.e. personal loans. It could be built up over a number of years or number of months. Okay. Mm. It depends. And uh, mostly debt, debt is, uh, the essence is basically if you've got an income of certain amount and you've got an outcome of more, then that's when things yeah. start getting complicated. Mm, yeah, so for example, uh, it's your income, monthly income, say it's a thousand pound. And like you, you're paying your mortgage, everyday expense and all that. All of a sudden you go out, buy a car mm. on a loan, right? And say your payment is say 1300 pounds. So your income is only a thousand pounds. So end of the day, over a uh, certain uh, mm. period of time, the debt will build up. Mm -hmm. From your experience, uh, what type of people actually get into debt? It's basically people who don't really calculate their income towards their expense. And basically, everyday people who really don't calculate income and expenditures. Uh, expense. Mm. Okay. What do you think people get into that? You know, what is, you, would you say the main reason? Main, uh, oh, well, there could be a number of things. Could be like uh, having the personal loans oh. or credit cards put towards a, a business. Mm or typical one of the scenario with the, uh, within our community buying some properties back abroad by in Bangladesh or bu buying say a car which you probably don't your income don't really yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. or having an expensive extension done or something mm -hmm. okay could you um do you think people use personal finance to fund their businesses uh, as a result getting into debt? Yes, um, as I said previously. Mm. Uh, right. Give us an example or a case study that you've like, dealt uh, with. Uh, like for, for example, a few friends could get together okay. and say, oh, let's uh, do a business and all that without really doing a business plan or anything like that. Okay. And they start off with the business with their personal credit card or I, the loan right towards put it towards the business. And this, that's how they could build up a business. Mm. Why would people not use business loan um, or business credit card to fund their ventures? Why would they really use and resort to the personal loan and personal credit? Um, to start off a business right because our, most of the people get a personal loan or credit card it seems the easy way out then getting a business uh, all right credit. with the business um, all right you have to have the business plan thing like that 
and they just start it off like that and mm. they don't realize. Yeah, because when you, when you want commercial loan or mm. something like you need to have all the essential paperwork in place like your business plan, your charts yeah. showing your profit and loss. You know. yeah. yeah. And if, if people are too lazy to do that, they think, mm. okay, let's just get a personal loan and mm. get, the, get into the business. Yeah, mostly uh, the, the, uh, within our community, that's it how it happens uh, quite yeah, often. Yeah, yeah. Quite the often. business plan is all verbal. Isn't <laughs> yeah, it? verbal, yeah. yes. Mm. Do you think society has a part to play for getting into debt? Society? It's, uh, well, yes. Sometimes, all right, people get into debt thinking, oh, that person's got a good car. Mm. I want it, and they don't. So, uh, in sense, I'll say that's the society. Uh, yes, society. Mm. Okay, I'll come back to some case studies with uh, Mr. Suru. Mm. No. Okay, um, from your experience, have you found that debt has driven people's families? No doubt, it has broken up the families. It's, it's not just cause problem. He has uh, broken up families because of debt. Okay. Because, for example, probably the wife or the family don't know about the debt which the husband or the other partner could have built up. Because unfortunately, the debt is one of those things people don't really share mm. because they don't feel comfortable at all. Mm. It's something that people just keep inside them and yeah. not really discuss yeah. and all that. Okay, we, uh, we're going to go on to Mr. Sobo Khan, if you don't mind, yeah, and um, I'll come back to you, Mr. Kostrum, uh, yeah. Okay, do you think people are too proud to admit they have debt? Uh, well, it's not something to be proud of, is it? You got mm. debt, you know, you're not as successful as people think you are, so yeah, it's something that they, uh, they try to hide, um, yeah, I'll say that's the case. Yeah. Um, what about the generation, uh, today's generation, do you think they understand this, the seriousness of debt I think and what it can bring. Unfortunately, generation now, they're the ones that are facing all the debt with all the cuts in, well, in benefits, with job cuts and so on, the house prices going up, um, mm. they can't get on the property ladder. So, yeah, I mean, they understand more than probably our previous generation, our father's generation, mm. who really didn't aspire to buy a house or car. All they cared about was probably send money back home. So it's all these previous debt issues um, in the past that has created the difficulties now in obtaining credit? Well, yes, yeah, I think yeah. that's the okay, case. So, no, okay. Cotton benefits may have resulted in people getting payday loans. What is your advice regarding this? Well, uh, to really look at how much interest they're going to pay uh, over the term of the loan. Um, maybe it's something as a last resort. Because a lot of, with Asians, you've got family support, there's always, you could go to your uncle or your brother to borrow some money. 1,500% interest yeah, or something. Yeah, something they ridiculous like that. So sometimes people are forced to go. Like say, if you've got no family support, no friends there, you need the money, then what do you do? Are these payday lenders are, are mm. the options for you. I mean, they're the new loan sharks, I guess, you know, regulated <laughs> ones. There. Okay, and another thing that we, uh, you've probably realized in your business ventures uh, when you're dealing with people in debt, people get all sorts of letters coming from debt collectors and you know, initial notifications and everything like that. They ignore that. What's your advice on that? Well, not to ignore it. I think that's human nature. People, a lot of people do that. They'll ignore it. They'll think if they don't open the mail or you know, if they put it at the back of the, I don't know, of the drawer, then it'll go away. But not to ignore it. I think that's what um, a lot of people who who seek debt advice will be at a time where there's a lot of enforcement action going or there's, the, the debt has you know, multiplied because of fines and interest and so on. So to really um, deal with the issue as soon as possible, there's a lot of help available. You, know, okay. to be um, you just mentioned there's a lot of help. Can you just talk about the solutions when someone is in debt? There is a lot of solutions. I mean, you don't have to suffer in silence with debt. You know, there is um, a company, a lot of charities out there that can help you. Um, solutions are really dependent on your nature of debt, the level of debt, and uh, mm. Basically, what stage is that there, there's um, there's bankruptcy, which everyone probably heard about, yeah. um, which is not as simple as you know. It obviously, affects if you got assets and so on. Um, but yeah, if you if your debt are more than what you can pay, then that might be a solution. Okay, uh, I, I, I hear a lot about these government schemes going on. Eighty-five percent of debt written off. Is it, what is this government scheme? I don't think there is 
such a scheme available? A lot of companies, I've seen advertisements that said, oh, but after three years, your debt will be written off, or um, if you're um, regarding the, um, the contract, uh, you know, if they, if, you didn't, if they can't give you uh, a copy of an co initial contract you sign, your debt then might not be valid, but I don't think that's the case. Uh, there may be some few stories going around that some people have managed to sort of get their way out of it, but there yeah. isn't uh, such thing. There's uh, schemes available, but not as, um, mm -hmm. you know, as fantastic as, you know, where your debt are written off straight away and things like that. Mm. Okay. Um, what is IVA, DRO, IVA. CCJ, and bankruptcy? You know, what are the differences? Well, these are, uh, like bankruptcy, IVA, as I mentioned, is individual voluntary arrangement. This is something where um, you uh, appoint an insolvency practitioner who will deal with your debts, he'll pay your creditors. Um, just briefly, it's, if you have uh, five to 15,000 in debt, more than one or two, cre more than one creditor, then you can go on to this scheme where, but it's, um, it's over five years, there's more. Uh, it, it costs a lot of money because you have to pay the insolvency practitioner. Okay. Well. And if you don't keep up with the payments, you can be made bankrupt with IVA. Okay. Um, DRO is a new scheme, it's available for the last few years, it's debt relief order. It's for people who have uh, debt less than £20,000. It's cheaper than bankruptcy or IVA, it's a £90 okay. fees uh, payable, but after a year you're discharged from your debt. Uh, okay. But you have to have little asset and little available income. Okay, um, and how, how does that work, you know? Well again, um, you need a third party to, um, you pay a £90 fee. Um, you, don't, you can't have more than £50 in disposable income. Assets are, I believe, about under £1,000 in assets, like a, you okay. know, savings or a car that you have. Okay. Um, after 12 months, um, you're discharged from your debt and you can have a fresh start. Okay, so after 12 months, you're discharged? Yeah, from fresh start. But there's, there's conditions, if you were to lie about your um, income, and, income and everything, there are... Um, penalties or you won't be 12 months, it'll be a bit longer, yeah. Okay. But in essence, it's so 12 it months. So it actually comes down, it boils down to the, what you put in the application when you yeah, apply for to, the Yeah, not to, I mean, you know, not to lie, yeah. not to hide any assets or mm. hide income or if mm. you have any change. Like you, you get a lot of people actually, you know, instead of earning £10,000 a, a year, they put down 25000 they Oh yeah, and people are, you know, economical with the truth yeah. sometimes. And um, the country court judgment, very briefly. Well, county court judgment, it's really your creditor, um, they can obtain, uh, it's a court order, a court action against you if you owe money and you haven't paid them. And uh, once you get the judgment, it's um, the court uh, really saying that yes, you do owe the money uh, to, to your creditor. I mean, it's, once you get the, I mean, it hampers your credit rating, your credit score, you, you'll find it hard to obtain credit. Okay. Um, yeah. Okay, no problem. Um, we're going to just go back, uh, go into a break quickly, and uh, we're going to come back and uh, uh, answer off again with you. Thank you very much. Viewers, um, we're going to be back after the break, so please stay tuned. See you after the break. <laughs> 